there's no getting around it. There's no getting away with it. If things change mid-August, whatever the date may be, buyer agency in America is changing from what many of us old grizzled veterans were taught. But either way, changes are upon us and that is not going away. There's one thing that you can do, which arguably we all should have been done, although we likely weren't taught this early on in our career, that we can do that will change our business for the better, will change the very thought of what a buyer agent or a real estate agent is. From a trustworthy value added aspect, one thing, it's straightforward, grab your coffee, we're gonna talk about it right now. Welcome to Mentor Sessions. Barry Paul, the owner of the exceptional brand powered by EXP, six years on into this EXP venture. The coffee, Monday morning, every Monday morning in Davidson, North Carolina, is tasting sweeter as we get closer to D-date, or the date by which buyer agency is officially, officially going to be changing. Change how you see it. If you're a real estate agent, now in America, in North America, because things may go north of the border ultimately, see every single buyer, treat every single client, buyer, potential buyer, as you would a listing agreement. Would you go into a seller's house, have the best rapport in the world, and just leave and maybe you call them a week later, maybe you shoot them a text a week later? No. Chances are you will have documentation with you there and then. You will set the foundation. You have a process, a blueprint by which you follow up your potential listings. And then when it is listed, it's on the market and you're gonna do A, B, C, D. You know that. Just as importantly, you convey that to the sellers. But then when you're working with buyers, it's completely different. 11 p.m. goes, hey, real estate agent, I've got your information from so-and-so. I really wanna see 123 Main Street, but it's gotta be at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Can you show me? Yep, hold up, let me set it up, I'll meet you there. You wouldn't do that for a listing. Two things that will transform your business if you're going to represent both buyers and sellers. Number one, treat every single buyer as you would a listing. Number two, set the expectation first time at the beginning. And if you need to reset the expectation because things change, situations change, but it's always easier to set it in the beginning. Buyers, treat them as a listing, set the expectation and watch your process and your business go sky high. And you know what? Don't wait till official changes come in. Don't wait till your brokerage or real estate company tells you that things need to be changed. Do it now. Do it today. Grab your coffee and thank me later. Cheers.